Uh, and you're, oh, damn, you're no longer leading troops. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, suppress, no, no, don't suppress revolts. Don't train troops. Research military tech in Lorraine. Duke Dietwin of Lombardy has usurped the title County of Lombardy. Blah, 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 blah. Duchess Barbara of Genoa has usurped the title County of Genoa. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see what we can do down there. Ah! He's trying again to kick some ass, isn't he? That won't work for long. I'm going to abandon this siege and come down here and kick his ass. War scores at 70%. This is good. I think uh, forfeiting the Holy Land was the best decision I could have made, actually. Oh, and I can appoint a new commander because I just made my best commander into uh, my marshal. So now you will have my new best commander. Oh, and we're auto-saving. Yep. Oh my god, a son was born to Prince Eganolf. That's fantastic. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Son was born to Prince Eganolf of the Holy Roman Empire and Toda Rodriguez, named Hartmann. Hartmann, my boy. Oh no, he's sickly. Oh god. Okay, let's say thrift. Uh, oh, the poor guy's sickly. Well, Hartmann, welcome to the family. Hopefully your health will improve. Eganolf, you could keep working on your wife, dude. Keep her out of other people's bedrooms, huh? Welcome to the family, Hartmann. Battle of Sibenek. Vict oh, I didn't even get to see it. It happened so fast. Okay. Well, we won. War scores at 79 now. Uh, march there. Kick that little army's ass. Try to keep them from lifting a siege. Young Martha has finished her education in diplomacy. I notice with pride that she has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Oh my god. She's a gray eminence. Martha, you and your sister Friedricha are two kick-ass ladies. You guys are two-fifths of an awesome person. <laughs> an awesome wife. That's really good. Excellent! Young Martha seems to have a lot of independent opinions and refuses to listen to the priest. This, this is a bit late, isn't it? She's already of age. Uh, I should try to stop these tendencies, or girls would be girls. Let's see. What are we talking about here? Independence. And she refuses to listen to the pr Ooh, she refuses to listen to the priests. No, that's no good. I think I'd be okay with independence on its own, but if she's ignoring the priests, my zealotry will influence me to say... I should try to stop these tendencies. There's a chance of her becoming patient. Let's see what happens. No, she becomes cynical. Intrigue goes up. Uh, and that's it, really. Piety goes down a little bit, but who cares? Victory in the Siege of Mostar. Ah, another fight. Shouldn't miss this one. Ooh, he brought in reinforcements. The last second. It's too late, though. After years of careful planning, Arnvid Bjork from the court of Grandmaster Henry of Knights Templar has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. Well, good luck with that. Oh, and another fight down here. Victory in the Battle of Mostar. Good. Well, we're kicking ass! Yeah, victory in the Battle of Castellaneta. 
Okay, you could siege, but I actually want you to come over here and take care of these bastards. And you should go... Where should you go? Fort level six and a half. <laughs> six and a half. It's going to be high everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. Ah, just come back here. Just go back there. And can, let's restart the siege you were doing before. Siege of Nikia. Where is that? Ah. Yeah. All right. These raiders, I'm letting them get... Oh. Yeah, you are raiders. Let these raiders get out of hand is what I'm doing. Bad Kaiser. Bad, bad Kaiser. Castle Town's been built in Ath. Castle Town's been built in Redfall. Very good. Well, I would say by year's end we should have... Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just about to say, by year's end we should have Croatia wrapped up. Uh, do I have to rejoin the war now? But it looks like I've died. So, let's... Oh, fuck! I hit escape to get to this, to save it, and I... I lost the... Hey, here's all the information page. Oh, that sucks. Because the game has crashed on me multiple times after, right after a death, I went to save it. And I lost the... Uh, okay, ah, that's a bummer. I was looking forward to reading all that information because that's new. That, that's been added by a DLC or a patch or something. Crap. Well, fine. Uh, <laughs> Kaiser Vigoric, the hammer, uh, his last... He shouldn't be called the hammer. He lost Hungary and the Holy Land. Uh, his last... The last thing that he did before he died was this. A holy man came to court today to talk about matters of faith. But it soon became clear to me he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison a blasphemous pagan who dared to criticize my faith and my church. Deus Volt. Very well. Uh, Kaiser Vigoric II is dead. Long live Kaiser Egonolf I of the Holy Roman Empire. I have a new heir. If my character dies, I will now play as Hartmann Chatenois. If he survives, I hope that he does. The poor boy. Okay, let's leave it paused for a second. We are suffering some penalties here because we're new at what we do, and we kind of suck at stewardship. Oh god, we are absolutely awful at stewardship. In fact, I don't want to become a counselor anymore. I want to abandon that. I want to groom an heir, build a war chest. Uh... The realm prosper if I staying at peace for five years. Yeah. That seems unlikely. Build a war chest, let's say. Uh, Alright. So before we unpause it, let's see if we can't rejoin the Pope's war really quick and then we'll go through. Catholic Crusade for Croatia. Yes. Send that. We should be able to get back into it right away and and uh, wrap it up. Uh, unless all of the holdings disappeared when we got kicked out of the war, that would suck. Unless all of our sieges, sieged holdings just reverted back to their master. That would be awful. Right, let's deal with this. Open council positions. Court chaplain is open. Sure, Radbot. You're in. Uh... Radbot, you need to do something, though. Why don't you... Let's just have you research cultural tech for now. We'll take a look at who needs to be... Have their opinions improved later. Uh, 
I can take you out of Atienites and bring you back to Lorraine to scheme. Uh, everybody else is occupied. That's good. New important decisions. Recruit a court physician. Okay, I'll do that. We have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residency uh, residence in your court. Word, word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quack solver. I hope I do not have to wait too long. Or to wait long, rather. Uh, extort subjects. Extorting your subjects is a great way of quickly raising funds for your war chest. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do that. That's crazy talk. Council is discontent. Your council has been discontent for one month and will be until May of 1408, which is two years away. This means that if councilors were prohibited by law from forming and joining factions, they may now do so. This could uh, potentially destabilize the realm. You don't freaking say. Okay, well, the overthrow faction is gone. That's good, but the independence faction is strong, and I imagine more people will be joining it. Court physician, we are looking for one now. Uh, set crown focus. We're going to set the crown focus in... No, 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 not Vermandois. In Lorraine, as always. As always, we do it in Lorraine, because that's our county seat. Character focus for me. We'll have to get through. We'll have to go through our traits here in a little bit, and our skills. Uh, but we are clearly a military mind. Uh, war or hunting? Well, let's look. We're chased. Oh God damn it! Okay. Paranoid. Well, that's great. Cruel. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we're strong, that's good. I think strength would say would lead me towards war rather than hunting. Even though I think I like hunting more from a strategic standpoint because it gives me that boost to health. Uh, yeah, we'll say war. War! Huh! Good god, y'all. What is it good for? Gaining territory and wealth and killing your enemies. Say it again. Okay. I'm over the vassal limit. Uh, yeah, my vassal limit suffers because my stewardship suffers. Oh. Damn. I think, honestly, I'm just going to roll with it right now. See if we can't deal with that some other time. I can imprisonment. What? I could imprison Toda? She's acted dishonorably. What did she do? Oh, right. Adulteress. Yes, I forgot. She's my wife. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I can imprison my wife. Can I? I could. But would I? Oh, wait. Yeah, would I? Oh, maybe. I'm paranoid. And I'm cruel. Oh, my God, I would. Oh my god. The council votes yes. <laughs> Eight, four, and zero against. They are in favor of me imprisoning my own wife. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm gonna imprison my own wife. She's an adulteress, and I'm paranoid and cruel, so yes, I would do it. Toda is now safely locked away in my dungeon, awaiting her fate. Excellent. That's mean, but apparently I'm okay with that. The chaste Kaiser Eganoff, peace be with you. I gladly accept your offer of assistance in my war. Let our enemies tremble. Yes, that sucks. The war score is back to 4%. Uh, damn you, Vigric. You couldn't do shit right, man. You lost Hungary. You lost the Holy Land. You were almost taking freaking Croatia, and you died. You were only 53, dude, and you weren't in bad health or anything. What the hell? 
Uh, we've had some serious setbacks here recently. In this, in this game, we have not done so hot to Tatsi. Where are the raiders? Where did the raiders that were in Constantinople? Seem to be gone, but let's go here and take care of these guys. Oh, God damn it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Just quit dwelling on it and let's just move on. So, we're basically starting the war from scratch, is what's happening now. Uh, what else? Domain too big. Yeah, we knew that. Vassal limit over. Yep, we knew that too. Okay, let's take a minute to learn more about Kaiser Egonolf, the first of his name. Uh, our personal skills suck, except for Marshall, which is 19. Because we're a tough soldier, we're Uko's hammer. Strong, we have a steel sword from Damascus, and we have a war for focus going on. Uh, diplomacy is awful. Oh, stewardship is terrible. Intrigue is similarly bad, and learning is bad. State scores, 30, 53, which is good. 32, 23, and 26. You know, I'm cruel, so I could play this up. Maybe if I threw my wife in an oubliette, if I get that option, maybe we could, she could end up dying. And we can marry somebody just purely for their traits, especially stewardship. But that's what I did with her. I married her purely for stewardship, and it's it's just not enough. And she's kind. My poor adulterous wife. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So I'm chased, which is not so good means that Hartmann might be my only child, especially if my wife is now in prison, uh, and he's sickly, so who knows how that's going to go. And paranoid, which increases my intrigue. I forgot that it does that. I thought paranoid was strictly a bad one, but it's not. Uh, cruel, which also increases my intrigue. Costs me diplomacy, though. Plus 10% morale damage. Oh, I guess that affects my soldiers, huh? They don't like fighting for a cruel dude, huh? Damascus Steel Sword, which we've had for a while. I'm strong. That's the best trait that I've got. Plus 2 to Marshall. Plus 1 to Diplomacy. Increase in Fertility, which almost cancels out the chase thing. Health of plus 1. Personal Combat Spills plus 1. Uh, skills, rather. Attraction Opinion plus 10. Vassal Opinion plus 5. Tribal Opinion plus 10. Uko's hammer. Strike, striking like the lightning of Uko. This character has fought for this Swamenusko faith. I don't remember doing that, but okay. Marshal plus two. Personal combat skills plus one. Church opinion plus 15. And plus 15 from same religious trait. And I'm a tough soldier. Marshal plus three. Learning of negative one. Increase in health. Personal combat skills of plus one. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty much the military or nothing Kaiser. My son, as we said, was sickly. Uh, let's see, I have two rivals. Etgual Mabul, steward of Brittany. <laughs> Don't know how I even know that guy. Uh, and Count Wolfram the Lude, Count of St. Galen and Commander of Tyrol. Similarly, I don't know how I know that guy. I'm friends with Toge Togeyoglu. Heir to the Balik of Kolomna, who is a Tengri. That's interesting. I end up being friends with him. Friend with an infidel. Alright. Marriage ties, no lovers. Vassals probably don't care for me very much. King of France actually likes me just as much as, his fa as my father, so that's fine. Uh... Actually, there's not too many people in the negative. Most of them are positive, but we need to work on these things. Uh, foreigner? 
Oh, wait. That's the king of Denmark. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute, I'm not German? No, I'm German. Okay, good. Whew. Leash is cruel. Is there not still a penalty for short reign? Apparently there's not. I know there's a bonus for long reign because Vigoric had it, but I thought that there was a penalty for short reign. Apparently not. Oh, in fact, it looks like there's even a bonus for long live the new ruler. That's surprising. And you get a bonus for the opinion of your predecessor. That's weird because his opinion of my predecessor was awful. So does it go up? For people who have a better opinion of my predecessor? Yes, plus 12 there. Okay, cool. That's new. Right, okay, so he's still trying to improve relations with the King of France, right? Right, yep, okay, that's good. That's what we want him doing. Uh, court? Kaiserine and everybody in my court is in jail. Except for my... There's a few kids. Okay, I didn't throw the kids in jail. Artha, my sister. Martha. How are you not wed? God, she's not wed yet. Uh. There ain't nobody impressive either. She was betrothed to somebody, was she not? I swear that she was. How did that fall apart? I don't remember that. Uh, there's really nobody impressive. You know what? I think I'll leave her unwed and hope that some young king somewhere suddenly is single. Um, yeah, let's leave it alone for now. Huh. Okay, well there I am. So, now we have to build the war score back up in our war against the Byzantines for Croatia. Your spymaster, Duke Umbert, reports that a heretical, yeah, heretical sorcerer has been caught and jailed in the city of Drius. This sorcerer has apparently healed various ailments afflicting the other prisoners. Although he is scheduled for execution at noon, you could pardon him and bring him into your employ. Why would I do that? Um, I'm not particularly religious except for the Holy Relic, which I don't think would really affect me too much. I do need a physician. What is he? He's Valdensian. I wonder if I could not uh, demand that he convert once he's in my court. In fact, can I not do that now? He would say no. Uh, no, I've changed my mind. I do not require his services. I don't think I'd bring him... Well, would I? I don't know. I don't think I would. I'm not particularly religious. True. But I'm also not somebody, it looks like, that would rock the boat. Uh, and I'm a little bit paranoid. So if he's different from me in any significant fashion, like being a Valdensian, I probably wouldn't trust him, one. Two, I'm cruel, so him being thrown in the dungeon, thrown in the jail, I don't think I would be inclined to help him at all. I'd say, no, ha ha ha, suffer in prison, you bastard. I'm cruel. Yes, I do not require his services. We'll see what comes of that. Meanwhile, you guys are on your way Nikia. Uh, after father's funeral, I am approached by his old friend, Prince Gunzlin, his uncle, my great uncle, who wants to speak to me. Apparently father wanted Gunzlin to look after me. He has offered me his friendship and protection. Of course, Lord Gunzlin, I'd be honored to call you my friend. Thank you, but I am fine, I assure you. Ooh. Uh, paranoid. I think I'd say no, but let's just check. Zealous, gregarious, charitable, content. He's similarly cruel, though he's really nice in almost every other fashion. Whereas I'm kind of a dick. I'm 
paranoid and cruel. So I don't know that I would be inclined to join him. Other than that, that I, ugh, excuse me. Other than that, he is also cruel. I don't think I have anything in common with him apart from that. So I'm gonna say no, thank you. But I'm fine, I assure you. And now he's going to like me less. Hello, hello, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Rage Marriage from Golding von Marienburg. To the strong Kaiser Egonolf, may you live in harmony and contentment. We propose that, uh, propose that Prince Ulinix of Lithuania and Princess Martha of the Holy Roman Empire marry. Rehehehele. Who is your heir, sir? Prince Octuna. Okay, so not this guy. Well, can't hurt, can it? What's this guy got? He's gluttonous, he's chaste, he's arbitrary, he's kind. Well, he's chaste. Uh, Martha's so good at diplomacy. I'm so proud of her. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with it. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. What's this one? If I if I click on this, does this one disappear? I hope not. No. Ah. Brother-in-law, peace be with you. We propose that Prince Kolbjorn of Sveyarika and Princess Martha of the Holy Roman Empire should be get married. So wait. My nephew? Who? Wants to marry my sister? Ooh. <laughs> because he's married to Clementia, my sister. So, my sister's husband wants his son to marry my other sister. I know that that's normal. Uh, maybe not normal, but I know that's not unusual in uh, medieval feudal times. But even so, I don't think we'd go for that. That'd be too weird. Too weird. Clementia's younger sister marrying her son? Decline. We'll go with uh, Lithuania. Sorry, dude. Sorry, Kolbjorn. Uh oh. Pope's getting his ass kicked over there. Your loyal vassal, Adarn Abelfi de Hauteville, has sent you a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a significant donation to your war chest. But in your return, you must promise to return the favor in the future. Most generous offer. Ah, oh, goddamn! I could use the gold. Cause look at my freaking ah. Oh. Okay, here's what we gotta do. Stop reinforcing. That will help. Or reinforce a little bit. Reinforce a lot. What is the what's the deficit? Sixty. So it's 146, we take it down to 80, and that's 70? So that would be enough, actually. Uh, yeah, let's, let's set the reinforcement at half. That might get us in the black once it catches up there. Uh, because, even though this guy is offering me, offering me money, I'm paranoid. I would tell him, no. He's just trying to get leverage on me. I refuse. God damn, Eganolf's going to be a hard Kaiser to like, I think. We've had some very likable Kaisers. Kaiser Dietrich II was likable. He was awesome. Uh, oh, not Popo so much. Popo kind of sucked. Let me look. Hang on, actually. Let's, let's take a look at some of our previous Kaisers. No, no, not that. That. Let's see. Who have we had that we've liked? Let's go back. Okay, these were the Dukes. Duke. The very first Kaiser. Kaiser Duke the first. I don't remember anything much about him. Kaiser Duke the second was awesome. Popo was... Uh, he was okay. He kind of sucked, actually. He slept with Dietrich's wife. And when Dietrich killed his wife in revenge, we ended up 
imprisoning, trying to banish, and then eventually killing Dietrich. That was a nasty episode. Norbert was... Norbert was good, even though his name was the Earl Ruler. I can't remember specifically what he did, but he was not a bad Kaiser. He ruled for a very long time. Sigismund the Great. I think Sigismund was pretty good, too. Dietrich the Chaste. I don't remember anything about Dietrich the Chaste. Vigric the First didn't rule for very long, I don't think. Uh, Dietrich the Hammer was decent? Vigric wasn't bad, but I was disappointed with all the territory that he lost. Eganolf is tough. Eganolf might be the hardest Kaiser to like since Popo, honestly, given some of the decisions he's going to make. Uh, yeah, I'm turning him down. Uh, my liege, my mission to Rhyme has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of King Joffrey of the Just, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Okay, that should get his opinion up a little bit. Plus 20. That's a good start. Alright. Maybe the monthly balance will catch up, I hope. Whoop. Your loyal vassal, Vito Vratislavovic. Uh, has sent you a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a significant... Oh, I'm going to turn him down, too. I am just too damn paranoid to trust these people trying to give me money. Victory in the Siege of... whatever. Garachi, sure. Okay, I think... Oh, God. This play session almost feels like a waste, given that we have to start over with the war score. Look at that, it's back to zero now. This is so silly. Uh, still a monthly balance of negative 20, huh? Should I stop the reinforcement? Yeah, let's do it. Let's stop it until we build up a little bit more of a balance. My liege, my mission to Rhyme is so far... Oh, you did it again, huh? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Perfect. Well done. Keep it up. Uh, yeah, this whole play session kind of seems like a waste of time, because... I presume you kicked their ass. No, maybe not. Maybe they're over here now. Uh, because everything that we tried to gain in the Croatian War was undone. We lost the Holy Land. And that's kind of it. I mean... Vigric died, otherwise we haven't done jack shit at this episode. Uh, we spent a lot of money, I guess. Independence faction's at 90%. Okay, there's the autosave. I'm going to pause it. Independence at 90% that's not good, but elective succession. Good luck with that, dude. Independence is not good, but I imagine we have the soldiers to fight it off. I'd hope. Could call up more, couldn't I? Maybe that's what I'll do next time. I'll raise what I got left. See if we can't knock out this Croatian war once and for all. Oh, look at that! How did the war score jump up to 37 so fast? And look at the other people that joined the war. Aragon. Some Irish people, apparently. And oh, the Knights Hospitaller. That's interesting. I don't know why it jumped up like that. Occupation of Mostar. Battle of Mostar. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing what caused the jump there. It was at zero, not two minutes ago. But okay. We'll roll with it. So next time, I'll raise some more soldiers. We'll try to knock this Byzantine War out once and for all. And then we'll try to consolidate our holdings at home. Get people to like us more. Uh, I don't know what we can do about our vast limit and our domain size penalties. But we'll try to overcome those. And we'll worry about the independence faction. Because those people don't like us very much. Uh, let's look. Oh, look at that. England's almost... In fact, England is gone again. Uh, 
English revolt is going on, but Scotland has regained control of the British Isles, quashed the English rebellion. Scandinavia uh, looks about the same to me. Finland as well. Uh, Golden Horde looks like it's grown a little bit more. Of course, we know the Ilkhanate has grown since last time because they have the Holy Land. There's India, for those of you who are curious. Seems kind of weird that in the game Crusader Kings 2, you can actually, like, see Sri Lanka. Seems a little strange, but okay. Uh, the Iberian Peninsula is the same. Almoravids, Mali, Fatimids, Ilkhanate, that looks all the same to me. The Seleuks are still hanging on, which we learned. Uh, and I don't think there's really anything else going on. So, next time we'll try to beat the Byzantine Empire finally. Uh, and we'll see how long Eganolf's son uh, Hartmann can last, and whether or not Eganolf can actually have another kid while his wife's in jail. So, until next time everyone, take care. I'll see you around. I apologize again for uh, my voice and uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. Hopefully next time I record I'll be 100% and we can get right back into it. Uh, until then, take care, I'll see you around, and long live House Chatenois.